How to be single was one that I had been really looking forward to. I saw it in the cinema. I thought it would be really great. Mainly because I love Rebel Wilson and Leslie Mann. However, I was really disappointed with it. And I think there's one very specific reason why. And that's because of the character of Alice, played by Dakota Johnson. But I'll talk more around that in a moment. So this was released in 2016. And it's directed by Christian Ditter with a screenplay by Mark Silverstein and Abby Cohn. And it stars, as I said, Rebel Wilson and Leslie Mann, as well as Dakota Johnson and Alison Brie. Now, I like Alison Brie. I love Rebel Wilson and Leslie Mann. I'm not a big fan of Dakota Johnson at all. I think it's just because she plays characters that I don't like. And this is another one. Obviously, I've got nothing against her as a person. But she just plays a lot of characters who I don't seem to like, and Alice is one of them. And now the description from IMDb says that this is a group of young adults navigate love and relationships in New York City. Now that is accurate. We have this group of friends, and it's just a slice of life about them either being in relationships, getting out of relationships, on the rebound, enjoying each other's friendship, and learning to reappreciate the value of female friends rather than always chasing after a guy. And that is true, but it also kind of focuses more so on Alice than anybody else, and I just don't like her character. So for me, I found that the narrative let itself down because it focused on her. I thought she was very boring. I didn't care about her problems. I didn't really care what her outcome was. I just felt like she was very cliche and predictable and and not a very well-developed character at all. The protagonist has to be a little bit interesting, relatable, but different. And she's neither, really. Just not a good character. Is it funny? I think I laughed a few times, not laugh out loud. And I think most of the humour, as it usually does with these films, comes from Rebel Wilson. Because obviously she has fantastic comedic timing, brilliant writing for her, and some of the other characters had some pretty good moments as well. But I just didn't think it was very entertaining at all. There's a lot of alcohol, a lot of people whinging about their problems, and that would be fine if it was also very funny. But I just found it really depressing and not very engaging and not entertaining at all. Now, I know I'm not the only person who doesn't like this, but it does seem to be well received. It's got 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb as the overall rating, which is a very respectable rating. So there's an audience for it. I'm not that audience. I still say that Alice is a very dull character, It's not that funny and it's very predictable. But there are aspects of it, mainly Rebel Wilson and some of the writing, that I thought was alright. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's very cliche and predictable. If you really, really love this kind of film, then I think you'll probably get something out of it. But if you're just looking for a decent film and you're not too bothered about the genre, absolutely How to Be Single is not one I would recommend.